Hi everyone, welcome back for another tutorial. In this tutorial we're going to talk about some new features inside Photoshop CS6 but uh, they were already previously in CS4. So let's give an example that we want to present something to a client. We want to shoot some photos and we want to email them just a sample of the photos. So we have two options right inside the Photoshop CS6. So we're going into File and we're going into Automate and we can choose PDF Presentation or Contact Sheet 2. So I'm going to for first for Contact Sheet. So I click and now gives me some options. So I'm going to first option is choose the folder and I want to use the folder Tutorial. I'll click OK and uh, you, we can choose the size of document in pixels, inches or centimeters and uh, how we want the position of the thumbnails and the auto spacing and how many columns you'd like and how many rows and um, if you want to use the name of the file we just tick this right here and we can even change the font to all of these fonts so I'm going to click OK and I'm going to let Photoshop do its magic. Basically Photoshop is getting all of that, all of those photos and uh, it's creating not only the photos in one document only but also it's giving the name of the folder, of the document or shall I say of the files because we ticked before and obviously I didn't change the the font but we are nearly done as you can see right here on the side on the side the last panel we can see that it's actually creating the text as well while doing this and any second now and should be done and nearly there what will happen is uh, Photoshop will flatten the image as well uh, so any second just for the purpose of this demo I'm using some resized photos because I do resize all my photos, the ones I publish so as you can see we've got it's done right here three of the same a number a C and we can just go in here and save as as you like and send to a client so let's close this because we don't want to save it and let's go to the other option which is file automate and let's do PDF presentation so right here we going to click in browse and I'm going to browse tutorial and I'm going to select all of them and I'm going to open and uh, save as multi-page document or presentation background in white gray or black and in this case I'm going just to add file name and you can even add title description etc font size and I'll click save and it will ask me where I want to save so it's going like Miguel where shall I save this and I'll say desktop and uh, I'll just put tutorial and I'll click save like so and now it's giving me some compression the general so the standard it's different versions of Acrobat or the compression or the output security obviously that's up to you to decide what you'd like so I'm going to save PDF and Photoshop it's doing its bit as you can see it's a bit quicker than contact sheet and both of the options they are very easy to use while he's doing this if you've got obviously loads of, of photos it will take longer and it's done uh, it will take longer and obviously depending on the resolution and your machine but while you're making a cup of coffee you can get this done ready to send to your 
client and I don't know where I save this now should be in tutorial inside tutorial yes it is so I'm just going to double click right here and we have a PDF and as you can see right here it has the name as well I'm going just zoom We can just make it bigger so you can see what's happening. So, so exit with number one. So it's a number right here, and we've got a seat. And as you can see, it's right here. Pretty cool, very cool indeed, and uh, very cool for you to show to your clients the, the photo shoot you've done. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.